Very often, I come across ICU doctors and critical care nurses who struggle in calculating the doses of inotrope infusions. Is this really very difficult? At the end of the video, you will see that this is surprisingly very very easy. Hi, I am Dr. Akshay Sharma and I am a senior cardiovascular and thoracic surgeon. If you find this video interesting, if you find this video helpful, then do like and share this video and subscribe to our channel, The Cardiovascular Guru. So let's get started and tackle a clinical scenario. A 58-year-old gentleman underwent a coronary artery bypass grafting. He was shifted to the critical care unit with borderline parameters and that was mostly due to low cardiac output. The ICU doctor ordered to start epinephrine at a rate of 0.05 microgram per kg per minute. The nurse prepared an infusion syringe of 50 ml 0.9% normal saline with 4 mg of epinephrine. Now the question is at what rate ml per hour should the nurse start the infusion? The height of the patient is 170 cm and the weight is 80 kg. So let's see how to calculate the dose. The formula which we will be using is dose is equal to RT by 3W. Let's have a look at what all these letters stand for. The R is the rate of infusion that is in ml per hour. D, D stands for drug quantity in 50 ml of diluent and W, W stands for the weight of the client that is to be taken in kilograms. One thing that needs to be kept in mind that the weight of the patient can also be given in pounds. So we need to convert it back to kilograms to fit this into the formula. Now let's get, get back to the question and collect the relevant data. Dose that is required is 0.05 microgram per kg per minute. The D that is the drug quantity in the diluent is 4 milligrams of epinephrine in 50 ml of 0.9% normal saline. W the weight of the patient is 80 kilograms. Now we have to calculate the R that is the rate of the dr drug infusion. The data that is irrelevant and would not be required in the formula is the concentration of the diluent here that is 0.9% normal saline and the height of the patient that is 170 centimeters. So you can see how simple is the calculation if you keep this formula in mind. Let's revise this calculation again but the other way around. So Annie was taking care of our patient after he was shifted from the cardiac OR. Her work shift is over and she is about to leave. Gina turns up and takes the charge of the patient. She has a quick look at the ventilator, the monitor and the infusion pump. She asks Annie, Annie, what's that infusion? Annie says, it's 4 mg of epinephrine in 50 ml of syringe running at a rate of 3 ml per hour. Hmm, says Gina. So what is the drug dose? Annie replies that, uh, see Gina, I need to go home early. You can calculate this with the given formula. She writes the formula RD by 3W on a piece of paper and hands it over to Gina. So let's revisit our RD by 3W formula and fit the relevant data into this. R is the rate of infusion that is 3 ml per hour. D drug quantity in 50 ml that is 4 mg of epinephrine W that is weight of the patient 80 kg and we need to calculate dose of infusion. Gina puts all the relevant data in the equation and gets the required answer that is 0.05 microgram per kg per minute. Being a smart and a vigilant nurse she confirms the same dose from the ICU doctor. Hope this video was simple and informative. I'll try to simplify other cardiovascular concepts in my upcoming videos. Till then, take care and stay healthy.